In this video, we will cover how to integrate Django with Postgres database, including how to do backups, how to restore the database, and this is going to be the foundation for what I want to do next, because I want to introduce to you the amazing Django Tenants package that enables building software as a service applications in Django, and this is going to be a quite interesting tutorial series. Alright, so I'm inside of my newly created Django project in the settings py file and I'm looking at the database settings that are default to SQL Lite 3. We will replace them with the Postgres settings a little bit later, but for now let's jump into the article that I wrote for this particular video and we will use it as a reference. So first of all what you need to do is to install Postgres. And if you're on Mac, you can use Homebrew for this. What I recommend doing is getting the PostgreSQL version 17 because this version supports the vector extension. And this means that later we will be able to create a rack application. So an AI application that will enable us to talk to the documents that we upload to our Django application project, whatever. So um, yeah, this is something for the future. Right now, let's focus on Postgres. So um, here are some additional instructions how to run Postgres, how to stop it, and how to restart it. And then uh, you might need to um, set Postgres 17 as default in order to actually use the CLI. And then if you are on Windows, you can use this link to download Postgres and install it on, uh, on your uh, computer, your Windows system. So I believe this won't be a problem for you. Okay, so the next point is how to ask access the Postgres shell. So uh, first of all, we need to create a super user. So with the use of create user uh, dash s and then the username, we created over here the Postgres user. I already used this comment, but let me just copy it and paste it in the terminal. So as you can see, creation of the new role failed. Role Postgres already exists, but I can do it again and create Postgres 2 as the super user. Next, with the use of PSQL, I'm going to set the user as Postgres or Postgres 2, and we can access the Postgres shell with this particular command. So right now what we can do is to list all the existing users with du. And as you can see, we have the admin Postgres and Postgres 2. And maybe let's create a new user according to the reference in the article. So with create user, my user, with password, we are going to create a new user. Okay, and let's list the users again. And as you can see, here we have our newly created user. If we want to create another user and assign some roles, we can do it in a similar way with um, specifying what the roles are going to be. So in this case, super user, create db, create role, and then the password is the same as for my user. And then we can list the users again. And there we go. So I'm sorry that this is in Polish, but basically here we have the name of the role. Here we have the list of roles, attributes, and then we have super user. 
uh, we have uh, create role, create DB, replicate, and then and bypassing row level security. So next we can check the existing databases. And as you can see, there are a few of them. Uh, I think these are the ones that come by default. So let's create a new one. Uh, we just need to press Ctrl C and then we can uh, simply create database. I'm going to name it MyDB and I'm going to set the owner as my user. And now we can list the databases again. And as you can see over here, we have the database that we just uh, created. So now if we would like to delete this database, again, Control C and then drop database and the database name, which is MyDB. And then if we list um, the databases again, MyDB is gone. So I'm actually going to uh, create this MyDB one more time. I'm going to make sure it's there and it is. And yeah, we can now actually focus on the Django integration, but we will return to exploring more functionalities inside the shell just a little bit later. So now before we actually replace the database settings, we will need to install one required package in order to um, connect Django to Postgres database. So we will need this um, PostgreSQL uh, database driver. So I'm just going to copy this. And then in the terminal, I'm going to paste it and I'm going to wait a few seconds. Next, I'm going to copy the settings from over here into my Django project. However, um, keep in mind that this is not the way to do things in Django. Um, the recommended way would be to um, simply store those variables in the .nv file and simply load them with the use of python.nv. So we should import from .nv load.nv and then apply this load.nv in order to get those values from our .nv file. But I'm going to do it for this particular tutorial the simpler and not recommended way. So let's comment this out and let's paste the Postgres settings down below. So I specified that the name of the DB that I want to connect to is my DB. The user is my user. Since I'm on Mac and I'm using Postgres locally, I don't need to care much about the password. It wasn't set anyway. Um, and then the host is localhost and port is 5432. So now I'm going to save the settings py file and I'm going to check if this actually works by doing the migrations. So python manage py migrate. And um, I'm not inside of the project folder. So let me go inside the app. So right now I have access to this manage py file and I'm going to do the migration one more time. All right, and I was able to create the tables in the database. So now let's check them out. So I'm going to quit this shell and I'm going to access a particular database. And this database is going to be the one specified over here. So with the use of PSQL, user will be my 
user and then the database is going to be my DB we will go inside and now we can list all the tables and as you can see these are the tables that we created by running python manage py migrate so now we can write select all from auth user so we are getting the data from this particular table and we have no records but if we run python manage py create super user let's create one super user very quickly now we should get one record so i'm going to run this one more time and as you can see here is the um, super user that i just created now let's learn how to create backups so we can do it in a simple manner or we can do it with a timestamp for this simple tutorial i'm going to do it without the timestamp so let me copy this comment and i'm going to quit the shell i'm going to quit go outside of my db and over here i'm just going to paste this code pg dump where i specify the user and the database and i want to have it as my backup sql but i'm going to actually modify the path a little bit so i'm going to um, place it on the desktop okay um do we see it over here yeah there we go this is our backup um so now what we can do is to actually create a new database and um, try to get the data where we have basically one record one super user and put it inside of this newly created database so i'm going to access the shell again with postgres and then over here, I'm just going to create a new database called new DB. And the owner is going to be my user. And now we can list the databases. Okay, so here is our newly created database. And then what we are going to do is to head over to this restore backup section. Um, we already did this and now in order to restore it we have to grab this comment and then we need to exit the shell paste it and we need to modify the path okay So now let's go inside of Postgres uh, shell again. And actually this is wrong. Uh, what we need to do is to access a specific database. So PSQL and then you as my user and the database uh, was new DB, I think. All right. And now we can list the tables. And as you can see, um, we have all the tables after running the migration. So let's see if this super user that we created is inside of user. So select all from and then of user. And here we have it. So yeah, I think I'm going to finish this tutorial over here and I honestly don't know how uh, things work on Windows but you might need to use a password in order to connect 
and in that case you need to create a database with the password so you can uh, simply use this PG password form copy and adjust this particular command or you can use the PG pass so yeah one last thing that I would like to ask is if you would like to see the Django tenants package overview and how to build uh, software as a service applications in Django.